how a circular machine member of ductile material is subjected to a varying axial load that is 250 kilonewton compressive to 750 kilonewton tensile. So sigma en and tensile yield stress are given. Now stress concentration factor, factor of safety etc are given. We are asked to find the diameter of the member. So here it is given it is a, a axial load and it is varying. So first what we want to do is we should go to the formula that should be used and here yes it is given varying load compressive yield stress of okay. yield stress and sigma en are given okay usually we are using equations of 2.19a but here there we are not considering the concentration factor surface factor etc size correction factor etc but in usual cases we will be considering this 2.21a 2.21b in this section 2.21 section so the peculiarity is it is containing correction factors and we will be using those formulas and in our question sigma en and yield stress are given and uh, so here if you are looking we are having the formula this is for stress concentration factor determine diameter of the material and we are not given about as yes, it is ductile material that means for ductile material we are having two formulas this one goodman and soderberg in goodman we are having sigma u and sigma en but anyway our question is given about sigma en and sigma yp so we will be using soderberg relations for ductile material 2.21c where we have ktf KDF is actually it is the uh, this one stress concentration factor and it is given in the question as 1.8. Now we want to find the sigma a and sigma m. In our question, varying axial load 250 kilonewton compression that is minus 250, it is the force minimum and the force maximum is 750. Tension is always taken as the maximum, but it is to be noted that. In our question, the given one is force maximum and force minimum. So we have F max is equal to 750 kilonewton and F minimum is equal to minus 250 kilonewton. So we can find F average. F first we can find F mean and F alternate. F alternate means F max minus F minimum by 2 and that is equal to 750 minus minus 250 by 2 and that is equal to 500 and if average or f mean is equal to f max plus f minimum by 2 that is equal to 750 plus minus 250 by 2 that is equal to 250 but here we are having f average and f mean but in our question in our formula we are having sigma average and sigma mean and here sigma average that is stress is equal to stress average is equal to here this is sigma alternate sigma alternate or stress alternate equal to force alternate by area and sigma mean is equal to force mean by area it is given in the question that it is some circular machine circular shaft or so circular machine part that is equal to if that circular part is having a diameter d then area can be substituted pi d square by 4 and here f me fm by a that is fm by pi d square and if fa it is already found it is equal to 500 so 500 divided by pi d square by 4 similarly this fm is equal to 250 divided by pi d square by 4 so this 4 can be taken into numerator so here we have this sigma a and sigma m when we are dividing the force by area so the pi d square for pi d square they have written area so the thing that should be done is we will substitute this sigma a with this one 500 by pi d square and the sigma m with the 250 by pi d square now sigma en and sigma yp are given in the question so a a is 1 for reversal when we will be taking a as 1 
and b b is surface correction pattern that is from 2.9 b it is an equation 2.9 b so usually this surface correction factor is assumed to be some point 8 or so yeah it will be assumed as point b is assumed as 1 b is always 1 so b will be assumed as 1 now this one c c is the surface correction factor so for getting the surface correction factor here we are given sigma n equal to 250 but we know sigma n is equal to 0.5 sigma u it is a usual formula that means sigma n by 0.5 is equal to sigma u sigma n is 250 250 by 0 0.5 is equal to sigma u that is sigma u is equal to 500 so in a table 2.2 so we are having a table and in that yeah here ultimate stress is given ultimate stress so 480 for ultimate stress 480 is 0 0.9 for ultimate stress 550 it is 0 0.88 but we have the ultimate stress 500 so we will be assuming it as 0.89 so we will substitute that sigma u sigma en uh, so we have got the formula this b b or c so b no c we have obtained this c surface correction factor 2.2 that is 0 0.89 so we have value of a equal b equal to 1 a, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 0.721 we can select anyone and uh, b is equal to yeah a equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0 0.89 sigma en we know it is given in the question sigma n sigma b all of you so in sigma a we have a we have it as 500 by pi by 4 d square that d is unknown here also 250 by pi by 4 d square d is unknown so every another thing is known so from which we can find d so it's like we will substitute this a a is pi by 4 d square so at last we will get something like this formula and we will get that's how we get this one 